Doesn't Nintendo have a rule that says that they need to use cheap technology? Well, no, it's not a rule, but it's more of a natural evolution of their business policy. Sony and Microsoft do not primarily make video games. They primarily make software and electronics and stuff like that. And so they're following a very different business model. The main game you may want to play on a PlayStation or an Xbox is not necessarily made by Sony and Microsoft. They will make games like God of War, but that's not necessarily why you're buying it. So both the PlayStation and the Xbox are using cutting-edge technology, and they're being sold either neutral or at a loss, i.e. the companies aren't making any profit off of them. And if you're not familiar with how the industry works, you may be like, well, why would a company ever do that? Well, it's because they make money in other ways. They essentially make money for every game that comes out for that platform. And every game that's sold on that platform, they make money for. So they can sell their consoles at a loss because every time someone buys something for that console, it's a profit for them. Nintendo, on the other hand, has two policies. Well, three, kind of. I'll explain. Number one, they never sell their console at a loss. This is going to make them use cheaper technology because they need to make a profit off it. Number two, the main reason for buying a Nintendo console always has to be Nintendo games. So whereas you might buy a PlayStation to play Persona, which is an Atlas game, if you're buying a Switch, you're buying it for Mario, you're buying it for Zelda, you're buying it for Smash Brothers, you're buying it for Pokemon. Third-party games are icing on the cake as opposed to first-party games, which is their major profit driver. This gives Nintendo kind of a pseudo-monopoly, because if you want to play Zelda, you have to deal with whatever specs they make Zelda by. If you want to play Pokemon, you need to deal with whatever specs they make Pokemon for. You can't shop around. If you want to play a Nintendo game, you have to buy a Nintendo console. And they make a lot more first-party games than Sony and Microsoft do. And finally, there's their third policy, and that's that technology does not sell games, accessibility does. This is why the Game Boy did so well. Sega and other platforms were doing stuff like the Game Gear, which took a lot of batteries and had full-color displays and stuff like that. Whereas Nintendo sold the Game Boy, which could only do four shades of puke green, had no backlight, but it used half the batteries and it was sold at half the price. Bundle it with Tetris and boom, everyone wants the Game Boy. They didn't have to use cheaper technology, it's just that they knew the cheaper technology would be more accessible for more people it would be within their price range. And for the most part, they're right. The average user probably isn't going to drop $500 or $600 on a top-of-the-line console. Gamers will, but we're gamers. We care about that stuff. It's much more likely that someone will impulse buy a Switch, and those impulse buys end up adding up. Now, it hasn't always made Nintendo the most popular home console out there, but they always had a handheld going alongside them, and they always made a profit, so there's no real reason for Nintendo to divert from this profit model. Basically, until the weak console doesn't sell anymore, there's no reason to give you a strong one. And for the most part, like I said, they are right. The average consumer does not care about specs. The average consumer is not noticing frame drops. The people who complain about the Switch are just a very vocal minority when it comes to business. Nintendo could lose all of their business, every single one, and still break sales records. Also, let's face it, the people who are complaining about frame drops in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet or Tears of the Kingdom or stuff like that, they're just gonna buy the next Pokemon or Zelda anyway. Nintendo isn't worried about losing their business at all.